no. Love it. Yeah, well, it's a shot you've got to use, drop shot, discreetly, against a man as fast as Federer. Ah, second ace. Nice work. Well, again, it's just not good enough for the second serve. It's not wide enough. It's not short enough up the court. It's into the Federer hitting zone. And we know he loves that forehand. And if he only has to take one step to the ball, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, another ace to that same court. He's drawn level. Three apiece. Forty. Has had to serve two aces and unreturnable serve to stay in this opening Thank service you. game in this second set. And that's because the quality of the second serve isn't good enough. It's short up the court. Federer just the one step that is able to take advantage of it. Oh, well played. Got the shorter ball at last. Four times. Four times. There's a marked difference in pace between Federer's best forehands and Correa's, and I don't remember it being quite so different last year. Well, Correa's not quite as confident as he was, and of course Federer is an awful lot more confident than he was. So there is now a gulf in class between these two, even though this is Correa's favourite surface. does rely on that forehand against most opponents to find his winners. He's only hit three today, and Federer's hit ten. Excuse me, eleven. Just keeping you on your toes. And that's the trouble. Correa there will have thought that he did enough with that forehand to put Federer under a little bit of pressure, and he will have at least been expecting a defensive reply, and wasn't a bit of it. Well, well played, Korea there. And he's walking around. As if to say, well, this is what I've got to do to try and win a point. It was good tactics by Federer, again going back behind Correa. But that little squash shot with the open racket face there, he managed to generate enough pace to get it down to the feet of Federer and draw the error.
Will that be inspected by Norm? No, I don't think so. Just ringing Speed it. Point. So he holds Thanks. his serve. One all. Thank you. These two men, of course, were as juniors, outstanding. The man in your picture won the Orange Bowl 16s in the following year. Lost in the final of the 18s to guess who? Roger Federer. And I wondered if all those years ago they believed that they would be playing each other in a Masters <laughs> final as they did here last year and on many other occasions for the honours. Well, again, it was that little squash shot on the forehand that kept Corrier in the rally for a couple of strokes longer, but Federer is so strong overhead, watching the ball intently onto the racket and then choosing a good target. Oh! Did I see? 30 feet. There's lovely touch on the volley there, just finding the little angle with a bit of backspin. Well, it's the choice of shot once Federer does move to the net that's so effective. Just the short angle cross. Very, very good. 17 of 20 points won at the net now. Utterly dominant in that department of the game. Spiel. Oh, you're not understandably looking despondent. He's, I'm not surprised he's being put through the ringer really at the moment. Oh. Of course, there's always the hope for the Courier supporters that this man's game will just lose its shine. Looks a bit glum too. Oh. Don't want any more of those, thank you. Three now. should try and employ to get the better of Federer. That's certainly one that has done him well in the past. The ability to go back behind the Swiss, try and expose that backhand. And it's easier said than done to do that on a regular basis.
Well, he needed that game, and it was a convincing one in the end. Bye-bye. Well, there was a couple of good forehands to the Federer backhand that got the job done, and he did well because he opened up the weakness by playing to the strength. And even though that ball was low, just that subtle flick of the wrist did enough to get the necessary topspin on the ball. Well, he's still in this set, all right. Federer's game is at its peak. He could always fall off. Yes, it's just all too difficult today against a man who's at the top of his own. But as I said, Federer does sometimes lose the gloss. Just an hour we've been playing. decided just to go for broken hope that they go in. Well, sometimes the best form of defence is attack, and I don't think Coy has got anything to lose. He may as well try and take the game to Federer, at least give him something different to think about. Just a half sniff of a chance here. <laughs> Snuffed out. And that's what Federer is so good at. It. Getting that first serve in when he needs it most. And if it doesn't win in the point outright, nine times out of ten, it forces a weak reply, which of course he's so good at taking advantage of. Is that a little smile on Tony's face? There are worse jobs in the world, aren't there, than coaching Federer? <laughs> because he played the whole of last year without a coach. Had a pretty average year, just the three <laughs> Grand Slams. So Tony's got a bit to live up to, hasn't he? <laughs> he has. And I thought it was a bit ironic that his first tournament with him really was the Australian <laughs> Open. Yes. Federer went and lost. <laughs> Oh, well played. Slight miss hit on the volley there. One of the first sort of fumbles from Federer today, really. Usually, I think he would go inside out with that drive volley. Correa anticipated the fact that he would try and expose the Argentine's forehand, so he was in a good position to make the most of that chance. Now, well, that's the answer that he meets out, you see. 2.05, okay. Having been passed, incidentally, clean for the only time in the match just now. The previous point. to be very impressive.